Now what will do? <laughs> Throw the drum? No. Sunday night. Huh? Sunday night. 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 Sunday they may go back some day now. Sunday morning or midday will go, I think so. No? So she will tomorrow night. Huh? <laughs> tomorrow night is best. Tomorrow night is best. Mm -hmm. Today you have it. Friday. 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 Saturday. Uh, today Friday. Friday. Tomorrow Saturday. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow you go. Mm. Huh? Uh, Sunday night is a feral day. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah? Then Monday, no one. No one. <laughs> okay, someone. Okay, now what is the time now? Totally is late, you know? Five past seven. So who is who is singing? Finish? You may sing Fayo Dasi Kori? Huh? Fayo Dasi Kori? Are you Palo Dasi Kori? Not my prayer and Okay. You play a harmonium also.
dancing. All good warrior looking, but they are not. <laughs> Who are they? Are you in? Yeah? Who is there? You are there. 2019. 2019. All you are looking, I am there. Not. <laughs> you are there? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Which one? How to see Maharaj? So many people. So many people. You are not there. Oh. No, I'm there. there. Ah, but you start. One playing the medan. Oh, how are you? Good? Good. Want to say, yeah, you have to give him that some yeah. <laughs> Good. Otherwise, it's difficult to find it. Huh? You are not going to Brazil, no? I am. I am soon. Uh, in two weeks, I go to Brazil. For that day as well, right? Yeah. Soon is that day out? Uh, June. Or July. Yeah, it's July. July. Yeah. July. I'll be there. I'll be there. <laughs> uh, after two months, three months. Three months, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Oh, who do you speak? Okay. <laughs> you can't speak, son. Right? Uh, Maybe you don't want to speak. Someone speak. What is your name? Kanela. Kanela. Kanela, go. Come. You heard the mind.
So today is the disappearance day of Spirit Ananda Stakur. And um, following on Guru Bhagav, I uh, try to speak a few words to glorify Spirit Ananda Stakur. Uh, Spirit Ananda Stakur is very famous. He's the author of Sri Chaitanya Bhagavad. There are two um, main biographies of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Whatever we know about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, mostly we have from two sources. One is actually three. One is Chaitanya Charitamrita by Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. One is Pranamanda Thakur's Chaitanya Bhagavad. And one is Lotan and Thakur's Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Sri Pranamanda Thakur, he is also called Tibiasa, the Sadev of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes. Like Sri Dabiasa Dev, he described Krishna's pastimes very beautifully in the Shri Mahaprabhu. In the same way, Sri Pranamanda Thakur beautifully described in the Pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And this Pranamana Stakur, he was the son of Narayani Devi. Narayani Devi is also very famous because she was the niece of Sri Vastandit and she got um, the full mercy of um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when she was only five years old. At that time, Mahaprabhu had ordered the devotees to start Nam, public Nam Sankirtan, which was something very extraordinary at that time, because actually it was strictly forbidden by the Muslim government to chant the Hindu names loudly. Uh, but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ordered devotees, now we start, everyone should do Sankirtan. In every house, we should have meetings and chant Sankirtan together. So in Sri Vaspanit's house, uh, Sankirtan was going on, and uh, the district orthodox caste Brahmins in Navadip they got very disturbed because they were thinking uh, this Sri Vaspanit, he will um, make the Navab angry. And then the Nava people punish the whole Hindu community and we will also be punished. So better uh, we go ourselves to the Kadi and uh, we tell that we have nothing to do with the Sri Vastandit. Uh, so then we will be saved and maybe only he will be punished. So they went to the Kadi and they said this uh, Sri Vastandit Actually, it's all the fault of that Nimai Pandit. Before he was a very good boy, but now uh, he has become a mad person. And now he is uh, instigating everyone to chant the holy names. And the Srivas Pandit, uh, he is performing loud Sankirtan. Actually, we are not um, supporting this. Because actually, our Lord. He likes to rest. He is sleeping on a Shesha. So if the holy names are chanted very loudly, then his sleep will be disturbed. So holy names should be chanted only very softly. So we have, to, uh, it's not our fault uh, that the Srivas Bandit he is doing these things. Then the Kazi, he came with the soldiers to the house of Srivas Bandit and uh, he broke the Miranga and uh, he threatened to beat everyone and punish them very severely if uh, they would ever do it again, this Sankirtan. Then Sri Vaspandit, as an innocent devotee, he got afraid. And there were also some rumors that the Nawab, uh, he would uh, send a boat with soldiers to punish and uh, Sri Vaspandit and his family. So Sri Vastandit, behind locked doors, he would start to do puja of Sri Nishinadev. Um, to, 
of protection. At that time, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu he was on the bank of the Ganga, and uh, he saw little calves jumping there very happily uh, and playing. And at that time, one special mood entered Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and he started roaring very loudly. Then he ran into the house of Shiva's Pandit, and he kicked the door open, and he was uh, uh, calling. He said, Srivas, whom are you worshipping? What are you doing? And uh, Mahaprabhu himself, he would sit uh, on the throne uh, of Lord Vishnu, and he would, in fact, he would show the form of Hashimari. At that time, he revealed to Sri Vaspandit who he actually was. He actually was, and then he said, What will that Kasi do to me? First of all, I am the Paramatma, I am the Super Soul in everyone's heart. So, no one can escape my order. And second of all, even the Kasi, he will escape this move, this move of mine. And then I will tell him, you call all your pundits, and then uh, you can show me uh, how you can give uh, Krishna Prem to all the uh, even creepers and um, animals and to all the living entities. Then uh, I will see what kind of great person you are. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was saying, I am not only the Supreme Lord, Super Soul at any one, but I am more than that, I am the original Supreme Personality, uh, Supreme Lord Krishna, and I have the power to do what no incarnation has done before. I can even give Krishna Prem to all the divinities in this world. Uh, and to prove his words, then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he called this little girl who was nearby, Narayani, come here. And he ordered Narayani, chant Hare Krishna. And at that time, this little girl started to um, shiver and cry in ecstasy and calling out Krishna, 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 and completely overwhelmed by Krishna. Thing. So in that way, that um, Narayani Devi, she was first blessed by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu with Krishna Prem. And later on, her son became Ranamanda Stakur, and he described all these incidents, how his mother got the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And it, um, so that Ranamanda Stakur, he was disciple of Nityananda Prabhu himself. And Nityananda Prabhu ordered him to write about the pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, so, Ranamanda Stakur, in the Chaitanya Bhagavat, he started describing Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes from his childhood and youth. Uh, then he started describing Nityananda Prabhu's pastimes also. And uh, he got so much carried away by describing the beautiful pastimes of Nityananda that his book became very large. Uh, then, therefore, he was feeling that his book might become too big. Then he did not write so extensively about the later pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And that's why later the devotees ordered Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami uh, to write about the later pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and which he did in the Chaitanya Charitamatana. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, he had heard everything from the six Goswamis, especially from Sri Raghunath Das Goswami, who was living all the time with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Jagannath Puri, all these later pastimes. And not only that, but he was a very close associate of Stavrit Damada, who is the most intimate associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So in this way, Chaitanya, uh, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, he got even more intimate uh, insight into the mood 
and in the, uh, the, the uh, um, uh, uh, desires of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Because in the Chaitanya Bhagavat, Pranamana Staku, he is starting by asking what are the reasons for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's advent in this world. And he's saying, who can understand the pastimes of the Supreme Lord? Why he comes and what his reasons are? And he said, but something we hear from scripture, and I can speak about it. In the name of Staku, he's quoting from Bhagavad Gita. Yada yada hidhamasya, tani bhavati bhavata, abhitanama dhamasya, taratmanam sridhamu. Bhavitanaya sadhanam vinasya chaduskidam dhamasam stapanatya sambhavan yogi yogi. And he is describing how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu comes to bless the devotees, to destroy all irreligion, and to um, punish the miscreants in the form of giving them Krishna Nam. But Pranamda Staku, he is not touching on the very intimate and deep reasons for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's descent. And but Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, uh, who is one of the Mandaris, like we heard this morning, this Mandaris, is are very, very intimate and close with Srimadhi Radhanani. And because they are so close with her, they can disclose secrets which no one else can give. So Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami gives the most beautiful explanations what is the mood of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Ratha Yatra? What are the confidential reasons for his appearance on this world? And in that way, we have a very um, deep understanding of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's reasons. But there's one, uh, the one major difference between Chaitanya Bhagavat and Chaitanya Charitamitam. Because Chaitanya Charitamitam is like our book of um, Definitions also. In the Chaitanya Charitamrita, in the beginning, very extensively, it describes all the Siddhanta. What is Guru Tattva? Who is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Who is Nityananda Babu? Who is Advaita Acharya? He is giving a lot of philosophical Siddhanta from Rup Siksha, Sanatan Siksha, the discussions between Sabha Brahma and Islam. So Chaitanya Charitamrita, uh, it's like also a book of very deep Siddhanta, explaining all Mahaprabhu's uh, Siddhanta. And the Chaitanya Bhagavat, on the other hand, it is more like um, Tarasic in, in one sense. Because Fernanda Stakwa is not explaining uh, very deeply the, uh, the pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He's telling the pastimes. And those two devotees uh, who are himself rustic in their heart and who know the deep reasons of Mahaprabhu's activities, they are tasting these moods in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But it is not so easy to understand for beginning devotees. That's why she was funny much because uh, translating for us Chaitanya Charitam because in the beginning. For us, it is more important to understand all this Siddhanta. But the devotees, they enjoy this Chaitanya Bhagavad, like Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, in his last days, uh, he would hear the Chaitanya Bhagavad, the lecture in the devotees, and he would um, go very deep into the moods uh, of the pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So,
but Gurudev does that for, for my purification. So, um, today I was, I was reading a little bit Srila Gurudev's song where he says that uh, the Jivas are, are wandering in the 14 worlds and it's very rare that they reach the human form and even when they reach the human form it's very, very rarely that uh, a human has the darshan of the devotee of the Lord. So uh, I feel very fortunate that uh, Krishna comes in the form of his devotee, in the form of Gurudev, and he comes to our, our countries, to our houses, to everywhere, and gives us his mercy. So all I can say is that I pray that uh, Life after life, I can have the darshan of Shri Gurudev and the association of the Vaishnavas. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Nadava Shri Vasari Shri Gura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Manchakara Patari Vyasha Kipa Sindhu Vyaya Vacha Pachitanam Pahamikyo Vaishnavi Kuru Namo First of all, I would like to offer my most humble obeisance and the lotus feet of my Diksha Guru, Shina Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, as well as the lotus feet of my Shiksha Guru, Shina Bhakti Vedanta Vana Goswami Maharaj, to all our Rupa Nagar Guru Varga, to all the Vaishnav and Vaishnavi, and to all of you present tonight. So I have no qualification whatsoever to take the mic and to speak, but by the instruction of uh, Shila Gurudev, Shila Maharaj, I try to say a few words. I can only say from my own experience that I feel so extremely fortunate that we have the association of Shila Gurudev, Shila Maharaj, of our Shila Gurudev and our entire Bhutanga Guru Varga. In the same way that Shila Gurudev, when he was traveling all over the world, he was always telling us, I have come to remind you. And uh, Shila Gurudev, Shila Maharaj has said the other day that we have so many material impressions in our heart after so many lifetimes. And it is very difficult to transform all those impressions that we have in our heart. So we can see that our Acharya, our Rupanga Acharya, they are very merciful, very affectionate and very patient with us. Kamaya Prabhu was remind, remembering the other day that the kata that he heard from Shri Damana, Shri Gurudev, 
he heard this kata 20 or 25 years ago. And then I was thinking how generous our Acharya, our Gurus are, because they come and they repeat again and again out of love, affection, and unlimited compassion, because they know it will take us so much time by hearing again and again, like the example has been given, and somebody who is uh, attained of a disease that a very troublesome. And the advice has been given by the doctor to give some ghee to this person, and that it seems something impossible to digest when we have a disturbed stomach. But he was explaining that by taking this every day, a little bit will rub on the stomach and be like a healing process to cure from this disease. In the same way, Shila Gurudev, Shila Maharaj, and all Vachaya, they come to repeat this Harikata again and again. So something will rub in our heart. Some impression will be there, and this is the only way that our heart can be purified in the way that uh, Shiva Guru Desh Maharaj was explaining that uh, we practice our sadhan, first of all, to eradicate all the amarta from our heart, all the material impression and unwanted desires. And on the other hand, we pray to receive a sprinkle of the mood of the inhabitant of ranch. So in this way, we feel very extremely fortunate to receive this very uh, transcendental and spiritual uh, cure. <laughs> this course that we receive day after day, and you can see how very patiently Shira Gurudev Shamaya speaks for maybe six hours a day, and in this way he's giving us so much strength and so much energy. And why it is so important to be sitting in the Harikata? Because what the sadhu is speaking is called Shabda Brahman, transcendental sound vibration. We can always listen to the Harikata online, <laughs> like we have said earlier, everything is online nowadays. But when you have this rare opportunity to sit in the presence of the sadhu, we should make it an absolute priority, because it is so extremely rare and so potent. And also, Guruji has been explaining what are the quality of such a sadhu that can transform our heart. It is explained: Asman Guru Prapadita Igashu Shreya Udhman Brahmani Upashama Shreya. Vishnatam Brahmani Upashama Shreya. So it means for that person who wants to attain this ultimate perfection, like Shiva Guruji Shamaya has explained. Therefore, this person must approach a bona fide spiritual master. What does it mean? It means that you are advised to hear from that sadhu and to take shelter at his lotus feet to the process of initiation. Why? Because that person has very special quality in their heart. They don't have only knowledge, yam, but they have big yam, realization. They have only one aim and object, is to awaken bhakti in our heart, and the propensity, the potency of the spiritual eternal identity in our heart, they can awaken through their Shabda Brahma, to their spiritual potency, to help us to become self-realized. Shri Amana, Shri Agulia often explain, self-realization is the best realization. And the other very important quality of such a authentic sadhu is that he has no material desire whatsoever, and his only desire is to serve his Guru Dev, his Guru Parampara, and to engage us in this service. So this is very important for us to be in this situation, and we have been traveling with uh, Srila Maharaj over India for quite a few, Srila Bhagavad Sapta, and uh, this is a very, very extraordinary experience. So in the same way that Srila Guru Dev, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayana Swami Maharaj was saying, don't think that I'm speaking this Harikata because you are qualified to hear it or to receive it. But if I don't speak this Harikata, on one side this Harikata will be lost. And we can understand also that the Sadhu is planting some seeds in our heart. And when we will progress on the path of Bhakti, developing our Sadhana, on time, those seeds, transcendental seeds, they will fructify. And ultimately, we have the direct version of Sri Chilada and Krishna and even be situated in their past time. So that's why it's so important to receive those spiritual impressions in the heart, to be watered by chanting, remembering. And Srila uh, Gurudev Shamaraj is also very much encouraging us to not only listen, but to listen with a mood of study. When we hear, we can go in the Shastra, 
read all those different uh, Tatra and Siddhanta and try to study and learn it. And then next time, when we listen again, then we have more impression and we can connect more deeply. And so in this way, we can progress on the path of bhakti. Thank you so much for all of you who have come and to be in the presence of Shivana. Sang this song? No? We didn't sing. Thank you. What do you say? Uh, I sing my message. Okay. Gianni, let me come back. Right.
सुते देवी प्रणमा हरे प्रिय ओं वृंदा वै तुलासी देव प्रिया वै केशव कृष्ण भक्ते प्रदे देवी सत्वत नमो नम अपराधलक्षिप्ता कामितरंगम कृपाई शरण प्रपन्न वृंदे नमस्ते चरणारविंद वृंदे नमस्ते चरणारविंदम वृंदे नमस्ते चरणारविंद वृंदे नमस्ते चरणारविंदम वृंदे नमस्ते चरणारविंदम अरविंद नेत्रा स्मरामि स्मरादांग मधुर स्मिता वदामि राधांग करुणा वराद्र रहास मुरली मनोहर राधिका रसिकम कृपा निधि सप्रिया चरण किंक संविधा दस नितिनंग विभो प्राप्त ब्रजमेन्द्र नंदन वस्तु मोहो नाती बल्लभा जन्म जन्मनी मदेशरे प्रिया प्राणनाथ विषभान नंदनी श्री मुखाबर सलूल सटापद राधिका पद त्रिकस्थिति तं भजामि रसिकेन्द्र शेखर वंशे विभूषित करीतांबरादुर्न बिंब फलादृष्टा पूरेन्दु सुंदर मुखा अरविंद नेत्रा कृष्णात् परम तत्व किमी अहम न जाने न विजाचे राज्यंग न च कनक मणिक न विवंग न जाचंग रमंग सकल जन कामंग बर वधुंग मे सदा काली काली प्रमदपति न गीत चरित जगन्नाथ सामी नयन पत गामी भवतु जगन्नाथ सामी नयन पथ गामी भवतु हेवी का कुर गद गद याद्वाच जाचनी पत्ते भुवी दंडवदुटाती प्रसाद अवदश जन सृत्वा गंधर्विक निज गणे गणना विदे अंग श्यामी छाटो मिन्मंदी कृतेन्द्री वर जडंग जाचुगुण रोचिषं पट्टम बर सश्रेया बिंदारण निवास नीदी दामोदर राधा स्कंद निवेश्लो जलो भुजंग 
अध्याय सुदामोदर तबैवास्मे तबैवास्मे न जीवामि तया बिना एते विज्ञाय ते राधे तंग नयामि चरणांत के श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादि श्री गौरवक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे First of all, I offer my humble, respectful Dhanavad Pranam, Lotus Feet of my spiritual master, Nittali Lapra, Vishtam Krishnupad. Ashtutra Satasya Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Silabhaman Goswami Maharaj and my Shiksha Guru and Sannas Guru Nittali Lapra, Vishtam Krishnupad. Ashtutra Satasya Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Silabhaman Goswami Maharaj. And simultaneously offer my humble, respectful Dhanavad Pranam, Lotus Feet of Nitya Lila, Pravishtam Vishnupad, Ashtutara Satasya Sri Mahath Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, Sila Guru Gandhi Goswami Maharaj, Sila Bhakti Rakha Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, Sila Bhakti Vans Puri Goswami Maharaj, Sila Bhakti Vigan Bharati Goswami Maharaj, and all senior devotees and all Vaishnav and Vaishnavis, and presented all of my respectful guests. So just I want to speak few words. Because today is very super excellent, auspicious day. Okay. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Vyasa Avatar, Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur, okay, is this appearance day. Okay. So just I want to speak, want to speak few words, glorify about Vrindavan Das Thakur. Eh? Just you heard. Yeah, Vrindavan Das Thakur, eh? <coughs> he is called the Mahaprabhu Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Vyasa Avatar and the incarnation of Vasudeva. And Krishna and Srimad Bhagavatam manifested by who? Krishna Dvipayan Veda Vyas. In the same way Vrindavan Dastakur he is called Mahaprabhu's Lilas Vyasa Avatar. Vyasa means Vyasa Vistarathi Ti Vyasa. One who glorifies past times of Krishna, what he is called Vyasa. Vyasa Vistarathi Ti Vyasa. So Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, 
and he also glorifies about Vrindavan Das Thakur. I pay my obeisances to the feet of Vrindavan Das Thakur. Dhyo koi dhyo koi lo chaitan na charit. And Vrindavan Das Thakur is charane mur namaskar jiho koi lo chaitan na charit. Vrindavan Das, Krishna Das Kavira is very humble. He also explained this way. And I pay my obeisances to the feet of Vrindavan Das Thakur. And Krishna Das Kavira is very humble. He also explained. Mur naam jai loi, tar punna khoi. Mur naam jai sunne tar paap hoi. Jagai madhai hoi te muita paap, muise paapishti. Paapishti. पुरुषे एक की सोई थी मुँही से लोग इस टा मोर नाम जेही सुने तार पाप होए मोर नाम जेही लोए तार पुन न खाए एमो निर्गन न मोरे कृपा कृपा करे एक नित्ता नंद बिनु जगत माझारी इन दिस बार्स एक्सप्लेन आई एम वेरी रेसेड रेचेड हुइल गिल माय सेल्टर जगाई माधाई हुई थे मुँही से पाप इस टा आई एम वेरी रेचेड म Jagai Madhai, Jagadananda Bandhavadha and Madhavananda Bandhavadha. So Jagai Madhai is the most important thing. More naam jai sunne tar, tar punna khoi. One who listen my name and he lose his pious credit. Or more naam jai sunne tar paap hoi. Or one who listen my name, and you? They will incur sin. Incur sin? Incur sinful reaction. Okay, incur sin, sinful reaction. Eh? Emon nirgan namare keba kripa kare. I am very rich. Who will give me? Shelter. Who will give me shelter? Only Nityananda Prabhu. Eh? Nityananda Prabhu, he will give shelter. Eh? Nityananda Prabhu, he goes everybody's house. And and say Nitananda Prabhu he is going the house of also very rich person and even Darisan Nasi Darisan Nasi understand those who are drinking alcohol and also keeping the others ladies and also Nitananda Prabhu he used to go their house and and taking prasad in there. And he is giving mercy. Nityananda is very merciful. And he goes everywhere. So for this regard saying this, who will give me shelter? Nityananda Prabhu. Just to remember how Nityananda Prabhu, he is going to the very, what is called? Fallen and persons. Once Nityananda Prabhu told to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nimai, please come with me and take Darshan Sadhu. So Nityananda Prabhu and Gaurasundar, they came in one Sadhu's house. And that Sadhu prepared many kinds of preparation and give the prasad two plates. One plate for Nityananda Prabhu, another plate for Mahaprabhu. And Gaurasundar. Both are sitting. Mahaprabhu did not eat. Just sitting. And Nityananda Prabhu ate everything. He ate everything. When almost Prasad finished, then that the Sanasi Sadhu is uttering, bring Ananda, Ananda, Ananda. Nityananda Prabhu, he knows the language of Ananda. Because Nityananda Prabhu, he traveled and everywhere. He knows the different, different sadhus language. Eh? Do you know the sadhu language or not? Eh? <laughs> different, different sadhus, they are different, different language. Eh? Mahaprabhu asks Nitai, this sadhu is saying, eh? bring Ananda, Ananda. What is the meaning Ananda? 
Then Nityananda Prabhu told, do you know Ananda means alcohol. <laughs> Understand? And that means these types of sadhu, they drink alcohol and, and staying with and others, ladies. So for this regard, this sadhu is called what sadhu? Dari Sannasi. What is Sannasi? Dari Sannasi. And then Mahaprabhu told me, Nima, you are a Nita, you are told this, you are this is sadhu. Then Mahaprabhu, he jumped in the water of the Ganges and crossed. And, and, but Nitananda Prabhu, he gave mercy. So saying, eh, Nitananda is very smart. Soul. He goes everywhere. And for this regard, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself glorified Nitananda Prabhu. Eh? One who criticized to Nitananda Prabhu. Eto Pori Hare Jai Papi Nitananda Ninda Kari. Tabi Lati Marutar Siri Upari. I think this is what Bindavanda Thakur saying. I am so much glorified about Nityananda Prabhu. But one who blessed him about Nityananda Prabhu and you also, Lati Maru, man, you also kicked his head, kicked his head with your feet. feet. No harm. This is Tanadu Visunich. Eh? That means one who glorified Nityananda Prabhu who is the embodiment of Akhanda Guru Tattva. So he said, Eto pori hari jai pavi nittanandari ninda kari tabi lathi marotar siri rupari. We learn how we'll be chant holy names. Trinadvi suni cheno karo riva shrishnuna omani no mano deno kirtaniya sadahari. This is the teaching of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Siksha Shtrap, Tharslok. Always very humble. And more than the blade of grass. And you will very tolerate as like tree. Or omani and manodena. You give the respect to others, never hankering for your own name, fame and reputation. But here what he is saying? And eto pori hare jai papi nittanandri ninda kari. Tabi lathi marotar siri rupare. And to kick. To kick the person on the head who criticizes Nityanand Prabhu. So this is Tinad Vishunij or not? Yes. Well, yes. And. This is the thing. And. So Guru Ninda, Nityanandri Ninda. Those who blaspheme by Guru and Vaishnav and Nityan. And Sastra saying also, have you chased out? Cut his tongue with the knife. What do you say? What do you say? Do you understand? One who criticizes the Guru, Vaishnava, and Nityananda. Cut his tongue with the knife. Then Guru Vaishnava and Nityananda cut his tongue with the knife. What is the meaning? That means you have to defend his arguments. And Arjuna Shastra saying this or this. And this is the process also. Otherwise, you listen Guru Ninda, ha 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 ha, Nityananda Ninda, and then you lose bhakti. Not only lose bhakti, you lose everything also. So, Shastra saying, never criticize Sadhu Guru Vaishnava, Satang Ninda. Never criticize any. Sadhu Vaishnava. And what you will say to Nityananda Prabhu. So now coming in this way. Vrindavan Das Thakur, he is called Chaitanya Vyasa Avatar. Understand? Vrindavan Das Thakur Katha is very sweet also. And his Vrindavan that's how mostly when you used to go Navadidham Parikrama in the place of 
Mamgachi. Huh? Very nice, beautiful place. That is called the Padbari of Vrindavan Das Thakur. Isn't it? Very nice, beautiful place. When we are sitting in there. Even Lord Ramchandra uh, also came in that, that place. Uh, so Vrindavan Das Thakur, Padbari, Mamgachi. Uh, beautiful place is there also. So Vrindavan Das Thakur, he did not mention his father's name, but he mentioned his mother's name, Narayani eh, Devi. Narayani Devi is the niece of Srivast Thakur. Srivast Thakur, Bhatus Putri. Eh? What did he say? Srivast eh? Niece. Eh? Bhatus Putri. Eh? When Tar Garbhe Janmila, <coughs> Vrindabandha Thakur. Vrindavan eh, Thakur, he took birth from the womb of Narayani Devi. Eh? And then also glorified about Narayani Devi when she was very small, eh, young girl. Mahaprabhu eh, always gave blessing to him. So much, near, so much, eh, she was very nearest and dearest of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Nimai. Eh? Because <coughs> Narayani, when she was very small, with him, Mahaprabhu also gave his own remnants to Narayani. For this regard, saying, Mahaprabhu Uchiste, Vrindavanda Thakur, Janmila Targarbe. Mahaprabhu every day hein, gave his own remnants to Narayani, Devi. very small baby. Hein? He also used to come very close to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Nimai. And Mahaprabhu ate something and giving to Narayani Devi. Hey. Bhakti Ratnakar and different, different Granthas also glorify about Narayani Devi. Hey. Yes. Narayani Devi, every day she used to bring some water, Ganges, Ganges water, hey. and give to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu worshipped his Thakurji. Eh? So Mahaprabhu's very near and dearest Narayani Devi also. Eh? Actually, Narayani Devi is called the recipient mercy of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu is Kripa Patri. Eh? Understand? So, Vrindavan Das Thakur. And he wrote and Chaitanya Mangal. First he gave the name Chaitanya Mangal. And understand this way. But what is it? Lochandas Thakur, he also wrote then Mahaprabhu's Lila Katha and gave the name Chaitanya Mangal. So Vrindavan Das Thakur was very humble. He changed his Granth's name. Uh, Sri Chaitanya Bhagavat. Before he gave Vrindavan Dastaguri his Granth's name, Chaitanya Mangal. Uh, but when he heard the Luchandas Thakur, also he wrote uh, Mahaprabhu's life history, uh, Chaitanya Mangal. Then he changed his Granth's name, Chaitanya Bhagavat. Uh, if you want to know about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's life history, eh, we have read many Granthas. Eh, Chaitanya Chaitamritam, Chaitanya Bhagavat, eh, Chaitanya Mangal, eh, or an, another Chaitanya Chandrudaya Grantha, eh, Chaitanya Prakash, many Granthas are there. Then you completely eh, understand the whole life history of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu is living. Eh? But in our Gaudiya society, eh? Chaitanya Bhagavat and Chaitanya Chaitamrita, the true Granthas, are very prominent. Eh? And also, we are eh, reading the book eh, Chaitanya Mangal 
what is his name? Uh, Lochandas Thakur. Lochandas Thakur, he glorified so many. Uh, about Mahaprabhu, Lila Katha, he did. Uh, and also Narahri Sarkar. Uh, Narahri Sarkar, he also glorified about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Lila Katha. Uh, Yadi Gauranga Noita, Tavi Ki Hoita, Kemone Dori Tamde, Are Radhara Mohima, Primara Sosima, Jagote Janato Ke. So, Lochandas, what is your name? Narahari. Narahari Sarkar also glorified about the Mahapurush Sweet Lila. And he also wrote Mahapurush Lila, Gaur Lila and Krishna Lila. Both Lila summoned, how is going in simultaneously. Very nice, beautiful this Kata is. Why I am saying it? Because if you want to know about the whole life history of Lord Chaitanya Mahapurush, Sashinanda and Gaur Hari, you have to read and many granthas. But mostly in our Gaudiya, Vaishnava, they are study. Which grantha? Chaitanya Chaitamritam and Chaitanya Bhagavata. Because Vrindavan Das Thakur, he is thinking I will glorify about Mahaprabhu, Lila Katha. But before writing Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Ajay Radha Krishna Pave, Dharo Nitai Charana Dukhan. Very carefully, hold the lotus feet of Nityananda Prabhu. Without this mercy of Nityananda Prabhu, you cannot understand about Mahaprabhu. Because Nityananda Tattva, that is called the Guru Tattva, undivided Guru Tattva, that is called Nityananda Tattva. So that means Nityananda Tattva means Baladev Tattva. Baladev Prabhu. In Mahaprabhu Sri Lila, coming Nityananda. Or Krishna Lila is called Baladev Prabhu. Ram Lila is called Lakshman. So, Krishna Lila and Gaur Lila, Nityananda Prabhu, then Baladev Prabhu appear, elder brother. And Ram Lila, he appear in younger brother, that is called Lakshman. That time in Ram Lila, he promised, again I will come with Krishna, but not his younger brother. Because his younger brother always follow the instruction of his elder brother. So, again I will come, which, which form? Elder brother. Elder brother. Yes. So, now coming in this way. Vrindavan Das Thakur so much absorbed with the glorification of Nittana. Actually, this is true. Without this march, without this mercy of Nityananda Prabhu, we cannot understand about Gaur Sundar. Guru Tattva. Dhyana Mulang Guru Murti, Puja Mulang Guru Padam, Mantra Mulang Guru Vakkam, Moksha Mulang Guru Kripa. This is very important. Dhyana Mulang Guru Guru Padam. And the source of all kinds of meditation, that is called meditation of Guru Dev. Dhyana Moolam Guru Padam. Always remember the, meditate the lotus feet of Guru Padam. So every day you are singing what? Shri Guru Cha Rana Padma Kebala Bhakati Sadma Bandha Mui Sabodhano Mate 
जहार प्रसादे भाई ए बबतरिया जाय प्राप्ति नरतम दास ठाकुर प्रेम भक्ति चंद्र के ग्लोरी फाइ अबाउट गुरु श्री गुरु चरण पद सो ध्यान मूलम गुरु मूर्ति पूजा मूलम गुरु पदम दि सोर्स ऑफ ऑल काइंड्स ऑफ वर्शिप दैट इज कॉल वर्शिप द लोटस फीट ऑफ गुरु पद ध्यान मूलम गुरु ध्यान मूलम ध्यान मूलम मंत्र हाँ पूजा मूलम गुरु पदम मंत्र मूलम गुरु वाक्य दि सोर्स ऑफ ऑल कैंड ऑफ मंत्र दैट इज कॉल इंस्ट्रक्शन दे फॉलो द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ गुरु है और मोक्ष ध्यान मूलम गुरु ना ध्यान मूलम गुरु मूर्ति पूजा मूलम गुरु पदम मंत्र मूलम गुरु वाक्य और मोक्ष मूलम गुरु कृपा बाय द कॉजिस मार्ची ऑफ गुरु देन विल गेट द लिबरेशन मुक्ति आगे हो मुक्ति तब कर्मंद नाश तब से हईते परे श्रीकृष्ण दास इफ यू फ्री फ्रम ऑल कैंड ऑफ अनर्थस मुक्ति देन यू विल बी एबल टू द सर्वेंट ऑफ Krishna, otherwise eh? not. So now coming in this way, so Nityananda Tattva is called Akhanda Guru Tattva, Baladev Tattva. Then, so Vrindavan Das Thakur completely absorbed with about Nityananda Katha. If you read Chaitanya Bhagavat and mostly glorify about Nityananda Katha. Eh? Okay, this is needed. Without mercy of Nityananda Baladev Prabhu, Akhanda Guru Tattva, how possible will we develop our bhajan and sadha? So for this regard, every day we do Guru Puja. First we do what Puja? Guru Puja. That's what they say. So for this, every day, Guru, Guru, and Guru Dev Puja, Guru Puja. Guru Vastak. First day morning, what you are singing? Eh? Sangsara dava nala nida loka Tranaya karunna ghana ghana yattam Prapta sakalana gunarna vavasa Vande guru sri charanara vinda They are doing only Guru Puja. First do Gurudev Arati. Early in the morning, have to Guru Puja. This is very important. Eh? After Guru Puja, then Krishna Puja. Eh? Then Pet Puja. <laughs> you understand Pet Puja, no? What do you understand? Eh? <laughs> First Guru Puja, then without Gurudev Arati, all your Arati, everything is yours. Eightless. So saying Guru Puja. Or Chandipika is saying Guru Puja. Pathamantu Guru Pujyam, Tathash Chaiva Mama Archanam, Kurbantu Gurudev. Nispalang Bhavit. If you do everything, but if you are not first Guru Puja, Guru Arati, you cannot get actual fruits. So for this is the Mangal Arati. First we do Guru Arati. Guru Puja. Sangsar Dhavanu. This is the process also. Without Gurudev Arati, Gurudev Puja, how possible Krishna will accept our offering? Anything, nothing. So Guru Puja. So that the Akhanda Guru Tattva, that is called Nityananda Prabhu. That is very important. 
गुरु मैनिफेस्टेड कृष्ण और कृष्ण मैनिफेस्ट गुरु <laughs> हिंदी और देर से क्या बोलते हैं हरदेव सही ये भगवान भक्त के छपाते हैं और भक्त भगवान के छपाते हैं नहीं समझ में नहीं है लॉर्ड ग्लोरीफाई टू डिवोटीज और डिवोटी ग्लोरीफाई टू लॉर्ड दिस इज द प्रोसेस यू अंडरस्टैंड यू नॉट दिस इज द प्रोसेस ऑल्सो कृष्ण ग्लोरीफाई टू हिज डिवोटीज लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु इज भगवान लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु मोस्टली ही ग्लोरीफाइज हिज ऑल हिज एसोसिएट और दिस इज अद्वैत आचार्य एंड वैन चैतन्य महाप्रभु वॉज टेंग इन जगन्नाथपुरी एंड फर्स्ट टाइम वैन चैतन्य महाप्रभु दैन लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु टोल टू है दिस 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 पर्सन हु इज वेरी फॉर लुक हुज बी बिहार एंड चांटिंग हुई नहीं अद्वैत आचार्य दिस इज नित्यानंद महाप्रभु हिम सेल ग्लोरीफाइज रूप गोस्वाई पास सनातन गोस्वी महाप्रभु मोस्टली ही ग्लोरीफाइड About his associates, or Nityananda Prabhu, or devotees, they glorify about to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Rup Sanatan, they glorify to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Namo Mahabadhanayo, Krishna Prema Pradayate, Krishna Yo Krishna Chaitanya, Namne Gauratti Se Namo. Well, Rupa Sanatan first met with Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Ramkali Gaon. That time Rupa Sanatan, they glorified about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Namo Mahabadhanayam Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnayam Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gauratti Sena. Rupa Sanatan, they very humble, they glorified about Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. और चैतन्य महाप्रभु एंड ऑल्सो ग्लोरीफाई टू रूप सनातन इन द असेंबली हाउस ऑफ डिवोटीज है सर्वोदामोद राय रमानंद सर्वभट्टाचार्य एंड ऑल्सो बल्लभाचार्य बिग एंड आचार्य इन दैट इन द असेंबली ऑल्सो चैतन्य महाप्रभु ग्लोरीफाई अबाउट वन वन डिवोटीज सो फॉर दिस रिगार्ड आई विल एक्सप्लेन एंड Lord glorified to his devotees, or the devotees glorified to Lord. So now coming this way, Brindavan Das Thakur, and so much glorified Nityananda Prabhu. So, then we understand. So then he saw his Granth has become very big, thick, and because he was he complete word. Absorbed by Nityananda Tattva, and Guru Tattva Nityananda Tattva. Very sweet. First, so for this regard, first you read who is Granta? Chaitanya Bhagavat. And Chaitanya Bhagavat is very important, and because whole lila, Mahaprabhu lila, Nityananda lila, Gaur lila also there. But Gaur lila is little, and. Then he will do complete. Last he also let me glorify about Gorshandar and the rest of his remnants. And that means when the Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami ate it. And Mahaprabhu's lila, Gorshandar lila, and his childhood pastimes and his household pastimes. That pastime is also manifested by Brindavan Das Thakur. Sannyasila little bit he manifests, but Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami mostly he glorified Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Sannyasila. Then after Sannyasila, this lila is born. Yeah. Brindavan Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is called yeah. Kostri Manjari. Yeah. Mostly Mahaprabhu's last. And twenty-four years, eh, last year, and nine, twelve years, he was staying in Jagannath Puri and completely absorbed 
in the separation, same mood of Srimati Radhika, Dibba Unmadas. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami explained this. Eh? You understand? Very nice, beautiful, Lila in Chaitanya, Chaitanya Maritam. Yes. Vrindavan Das Thakur, he did not write because he is looking, his Granth has become very big. Eh? Yeah, very quickly he glorified about Mahaprabhu Srila. But Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, eh? he mostly glorified about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's eh? after Sannasrila. Eh? When Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was in Jagannath Puri, eh? how Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu absorbed in the same separation mood of Srimati Radhika. Radhika or Bhavjiche, Uddhav Darshane, Sai Mata, Rahe Prabhu, Ratri Dina. When Uddhav came in Vrindavan and he saw Srimati Radhika, transcendental madness, Dibba Unmadasa. And, and same way Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he was staying in Jagannath Puri, and last 12 years, and, and that time Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was staying in Gambira. Yes. Understand? Mahaprabhu was staying in Gambira. And that time also Gambira Lila. Radhikar Bhav Gambir. Jeva Jane Mahadi. So Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he was staying in Jagannath Puri, and especially last 12 years, and Mahaprabhu always absorbed in transcendental madness and of Srimati Radhika. Same mood of Srimati Radhika. Kaha mor pranonat, morali vadan, kaha jau, kaha pao, varjan nirnandan. What they put there? How do you find this? Graves. Where are the juice coming from? Where are some of the other grapes? So, Vrindavan Das Thakur's Katha is very important. Hello. I like Krishna Das, what is called? Krishna Devan Veda Bhas, he manifested Krishna Lila and in this way. So, Vrindavan Das Thakur. So, the Vrindavan Das Thakur is paid more namaskar. Or I pay my humble <coughs> Dandavad Pranam, Lotus Feet of Vrindavan Das Thakur. So remember all the Vrindavan Das Thakur Katha. So, and also I am to speak for the Katha. And Siddha Bhakti Siddha Bhava Gambhir. Just I also explain Mahaprabhu's Lila Katha, if you want to know, and this is why there are the three parts of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. One is called Chaitanya Juk, another is called Prak Chaitanya Juk, and no, no. That's what he said. One is called Prak Chaitanya Juk, Chaitanya Juk, Prak Chaitanya Juk, and Chaitanya Parvati Juk. The man says, Chaitanya Juk, when Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared, that time also many um, persons, they came, poets came, they also glorified about Radha Krishna, Sweet Lila, Madhurja Katha is there. Eh? I like Mahaprabhu, when Mahaprabhu came, that time many persons, they also wrote about Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Katha. Eh? And before Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, some they also glorify about Radha Krishna Lila Katha is there. And the Vidyapati, Chandi Das, they are called before Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
and that is called prak chaitanya mahaprabhu that is called prak yeah. so chaitanya yuga prak chaitanya yuga and chaitanya parvartin the after lord chaitanya mahaprabhu then lord chaitanya mahaprabhu departed from this material world and some transcendental poet of prakriti kavi they also glorify about and prem katha radha krishna leela katha these things also and as like nartam das thakur eh nartam das thakur he also wrote many kathas and in his kirtan glorified about lord chaitanya mahaprabhu and this katha also did and so mahaprabhu ji katha also divided in three ways before lord chaitanya mahaprabhu eh after when mahaprabhu performed his leela and that is rupa goswami pad and our goswami eh they glorified about radha krishna and lord chaitanya mahaprabhu many leela katha is there or after when lord chaitanya mahaprabhu departed from this material world and that time also and nattam das thakur and they also glorified so if why is it because if you want to know about mahaprabhu's leela katha have to read this gantas and and want to know about the mood of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu before lord chaitanya mahaprabhu vidyapati chandidas they glorified about radha a what is called sakhis mood ha eh? mostly they glorified about sakhis mood sakhis mood and sen eh? ha lalita bisakha is their mood and or when lord chaitanya mahaprabhu appear and that time rupa goswami pad sanatan goswami pad in their granth glorified about manjari's mood is there eh? so for this regard what is name is a jankali roop sarir na dharit dharit and there one poet his name madhav madhav yes. and he wrote jankali roop sarir na dharat and in this kali yuga if rupa goswami would not appear and who can realize the highest mood of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu eh jankali roop sarir na dharat and the glorification he is rupa goswami pad and jahau rupa goswami pad glorified about the highest mood eh eh this things for lord chaitanya mahaprabhu indiscriminately distributed the highest prem to everybody what prem lord chaitanya mahaprabhu gave which prem eh ah eh that is called manjari bhav actually eh yeah. anar pita charing chirat karunya avatirna kalo samar payatu unnata ujjala rasam sabakti sri hari hi purana sundara didi kunda basant eh yeah. kada sada hida kandare spuratu bha sachi nanna eh yeah. so lord chaitanya mahaprabhu eh yeah. he manifested the highest mood and this mood he invested in the heart of rupa goswami pad eh as in as like krishna manifested all his mood in the heart of brahma eh in the same way lord chaitanya mahaprabhu manifested his highest mood in the heart of rupa goswami pad eh so janmad sa shloka this will be आदि कवि आदि कवि हुई इज आदि कवि ब्रह्मा है बट हेयर इज आदि कवि श्री रूप गोस्वामी का है लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु इन्वेस्टेड ऑल हिज हाइस्ट मूड इन द हार्ट ऑफ श्री रूप गोस्वामी का है सो फॉर दिस रिगार्ड जंग कलि रूप शरीर ना धर and in this kali rupa goswami pa would not manifest how will he realize the highest mood of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu 
Manjari is Before Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, no one discuss about Manjari Bhav. Vidyapati, Chandidas, in their song, mostly they glorify about Lalita Visakha's mood. That is called Sakhi mood. What mood? Sakhi mood in there. Huh? There they are. Rupa Goswami Pad and glorifies about Manjari's mood in there. And these things. Are after Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then Nartam Das Thakur, and they also glorify about Mahaprabhu's highest mood in there. Because you know that that person, when you associate with him, and without associating the person, you cannot understand his mood. And this is the process also. So, Rupa Goswami path, he direct meet with Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu eh? and he realized the heart of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Eh? Eh? Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself glorified about Rupa Goswami path. That I gave all my treasure of heart to Rupa Goswami. Eh? Especially eh? <coughs> during the time of Ratha Jatra in Jagannath Puri. And Mahaprabhu dancing, singing in front of Lord Jagannath. And he recited one mundane poet, one sloka. What sloka? Jag Kaumara Hara, this sloka. That is completely what mundane things are there. Kabba Prakash Grantha. Mandan Poi wrote how one and lover and beloved express their sentiments. Eh? Before they are lover and beloved, then they married. But he is he say, he say, he saying, I am not happy with my this marriage life. You are happy with your marriage life or not? Eh? Yeah, he is saying, okay, good. <laughs> In the beginning, also, you were happy, this is true. Eh? Understand? Then, later you realize eh, how is painful. Eh? You understand? No. <laughs> eh? Chede de ma kende bachi. How to leave everything? <laughs> In the beginning, everything is good. Eh? Understand? Brahmachari is thinking, and household life is very nice. Then when married, then think, oh my God, what happened? Dilli ke laddu jo khaya, wo pasta ya. Aaj jo nahi khaya, wo bhi pasta ya. Understand? And this is true. Everybody thinking, oh, very nice, nice. Eh? Eh? This is the thing. So, and what did he say? Jog Kaumar Hara. So, before they are lover and beloved, eh? she is expressing her sentiments, bhav. Eh? Before, I also end love and affection with this person. And hidden way, both we are meeting together. Eh? Betasi Turu Tali. And midnight, both we are meeting together. No one can see our face. Midnight, full, what is called? Full night and Purnima Ratri. And, and spring season. And very sweet breeze coming. And both were embracing to each other and hiding on the place. No one can see together. And, and speaking very nice, sweet words to each other. Eh? What they are speaking to each other? Oh, your eyes are very sweet, very nice, these, these things. I am looking whole world in your eyes. <laughs> in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> then, in the meantime, one person 
he was sitting on the top of the branches of the tree who lost his donkey then he's thinking hey you are looking whole world in her eyes must you are looking my donkey <laughs> actually this is words which words <laughs> flattering words eh huh? When lover and beloved meeting together, they are using this word also. Eh? This is true, wrong. But after married, then she is saying this way. Eh? Then I am. I am not happy with my this marriage life. I want to return back my previous life. Eh? This is true. So Mahaprabhu again and again, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu again and again, and repeated this verse: "Jo Kumara Hara this locus." Huh? Everybody's mind completely what disturbed. The Mahaprabhu said, "Nasi, why again and again he recited this mundane poet this locus? No one can know. Only Sarup Damodar he realized the heart of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu." एक जाने स्वरूप महाप्रभु ही दास ओनली महाप्रभु ही नोज द हार्ट ऑफ ही नोज द हार्ट ऑफ लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु आर दैट यू आर इन द रथयात्रा रूप गोस्वामी पाद ही के देन रूप गोस्वामी पाद ही रियलाइज द हार्ट ऑफ लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु सो फॉर दी गार रूप गोस्वामी पाद ही रोट सेम पैरेलल श्लोक है What does look? Priya so young, eh? Kurukhetre milita. Look these words. And wrote, and he put, eh? In the Haridas Thakur's, and what is called? Ceiling. Ceiling. And there. That time Rupa Goswami Pad he went to take bath in the ocean. And Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he came, and suddenly he saw that the paper. And Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu read this paper. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu completely intoxicated, and asked, "Who wrote this verse?" Eh? Priya so ang sahajari kurukhetre milita. This mood. Eh? That means Sri Mati Radhika she expressed her mood in front of her is so kids Lalita Abhishek. Eh? Now I am same Radha. Are now beloved Krishna, same Krishna. Both are meeting together eh? in Kurukhetra. But my heart is not overjoyed. I want to return back to Vrindavan. Eh? This. So when Mahapur read this verse, eh? Priyo so ayam sahachari Kurukhetra meli. Eh? In the meantime, Rupa Goswami Pad came and paid his obeisances to Lord Shri Tab, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked, "Root, hey Rup, you wrote this verse." And Rupa Goswami Pad very humble. Yeah, yes. Then, then. So Mahaprabhu asked, "How do you know my heart?" Then, then Sarup Damodar he told Prabhu. Actual, without your mercy, how possible he would write this verse? Then Mahaprabhu himself told, "Yes, I gave my all my treasure of heart to Rupa Goswami. Eh? For this regard, Rupa Goswami they realized my heart. Eh? Guru's mercy, Krishna's mercy. How will you know? Guru nourishment his disciples. How many ways?" Hey, how many ways? Yesterday or two days before, he explained from Bhakti Rasam Madhu Sindhu. This local is also coming. Hey, Guru's mercy, Krishna's mercy. How do you know? Guru nourishment. He disciples different different ways. Hey, huh? Hardik, Bachik, and Alugdan. And this they give him mercy. Hardik. Manifest everything in his heart. That is the heart dig. Bachik with his words. Alukdan giving the glance. Hey, 
with the glands, everything is manifest. And nourishment, different, different way also. Okay? You understand or not? What do you understand? How do you, how do you receive this mercy of Guru? Okay? Hardik, Bachik and Alokdan. Hardik means and he manifests everything in his heart. Eh? Hardik. Bachik with his words. Okay, I am giving blessing. Eh? Words. Eh? That is called Bachik. Alokdan, that is called glance. Eh? Guru's Kripa, they come in this. Or another, how Guru decide, here is a nourishment to his disciples. Eh? As like bird, and, and bird lays the egg. eggs and hatching. What do you call hatching? No? Hatch. Hatch. On that egg. And two days, three days, four days, sitting on the, on the egg. On the egg. Then after few days, the baby are coming. Answer <laughs> <laughs> another. He is giving song of these. Or another. Uh, as like fish, eh? taking the, uh, the big fish, taking their babies, small, small babies, small, small, small fish, eh? and uh, if he, any, what is it called? Eh? Someone attack or something, this is, eh? danger. danger coming, then he making the sound, eh? then all the babies, very quickly they also are disappear. And you can see in the pond, a small, small uh, fish are uh, running here and there. there. And a big fish, also, their mother fish is there. And they realize, oh, this some uh, danger is coming. Then he's making the sound. Uh, then all the other. <laughs> in this way, and another with his tortoise and crocodile or and with a glance, nourishment. With a glance? Eh? Distance. Glance, distance. Eh? Far distance. Ah, far, far, very far distance. And eh? giving that. Eh? Especially crocodile. And eh? keeping that small baby and going for But if any danger will come, very quickly he will come and protect his baby. Eh? So for this you are not alone. Tu akela nahi pyare Ram tera saath hai. Aaj na this hai. Tulsi Das is saying there. Sita Ram, Sita Ram, Sita Ram koiye jahi vidhi rakhe Ram tahi vidhi rahi. Vidhi ke vidhan jaan hani lab sahi hai. Tu akela nahi pyare Ram tera saath. Tulsi Das is saying this. And you are not alone. Guru and Krishna always with you. Eh? You are thinking I am alone. You are not alone. And who is always with me? Guru and Krishna. Eh? Try to realize this. When your faith and realization come, then realize. Eh? Eh? Tu akela nahi pyare Ram tera saath. You are not alone. Guru and Krishna always with you. Eh? So this is the process all. Eh? How do you need it? When your Guru Nishta, Guru Bhakti will come. Then we realize these things. Eh? Then we realize this. What did Brihad Bhagavatam the Sanatan Goswami Vadi explain? Gopkumar. Eh? Gopkumar he felt the pang of separation from his Guru Jayanta. Eh? Eh? Understand this? But he realized. Two times Gurudev also manifest in front of him. One in Jagannath Puri. Eh? When Gupkumar, he came in Jagannath Puri and felt the pang of separation from his Guru. One day he is walking on the beach eh? and crying and crying. Then suddenly, his guru, Janta, appeared eh? and gave blessing. Uh, 
Not that. Sometimes I'll, what is the time? Nine o'clock, right? Uh, once, one guru and disciple, they are staying together. Eh? The disciple completely surrendered the lotus feet of his guru and servicing Guru Seva. Guru's age about 95 years, eh? and so become very old. Who is giving lectures? Another lecture is going on there. Hey, come here. <laughs> Uh, put another mic is there. So you can listen. Uh, so now coming in this way. Uh, what do you say? Guru is now ninety-five years old. Ninety-five years old. Eh? So disciple one day told his Gurudev, "Hey Gurudev, uh, now I'm feeling something." Soon we will be departed from this material world. Who will give me shelter? I will stay. What will do? Do these, these things? Eh? Maybe I will be alone. Who will give me shelter? Eh? Understand? Then Guru told his disciple, "Don't worry. I am always with you. Eh? I am always with you. You are thinking I am not with you. Always I am not with you. In this way, then one day, Gurudev left the body. This is the nature. Eh? Then disciple, he felt pang of separation for his Guru crying and crying. Eh? So, one day, he is thinking, and Gurudev with me or not? Eh? Then he chanting holy names and remember his guru. Eh? Then night time in his dream guru had come. Guru told, "Hey disciple, how you are thinking? You are alone. You are not alone. I am with you." Then disciple told guru, "They just is talking with you in dream, eh? Sapna." Guru, I am feeling. And I am alone. But no, no, you are not alone. I am always with you. Sometimes visible, sometimes invisible. Eh? So disciple told, how do you know? So how do I know? You are always with me. Kasama is something you have made a How do you know? Then Gurudev told, okay, every day when you go to the morning walk on the beach, then you can see my foot uh, is called footprints and eh? side by side with you. Then his dream finished. Eh? Very quickly he wakes up. He also went to the eh? beach, walking on the beach, morning and eh? walking. Understand? When he was walking on the beach, then he saw eh? two footprints and eh? side by side. His footprints and his guru's footprints. Then his faith, oh, this is eh? my guru. He is very enthusiastic. Eh? So, Gurudev with me. Understand? In this way, few days, few months passed. Then he become very poor. Eh? Because when you are rich, many persons will coming. Coming or not? Hey, if he has oil to money, everybody will ask, How are you? How are you? This is the nature of the material. Or if you are penniless, no one can ask you, How are you? Everybody, who are you? Hey, if you have all the money and everybody asks, How are you? How, 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 how? <laughs> or when you are poor, they will say, Who are you? Huh? So now he is very poor. And then one day he was walking. Again he was walking on the beach. Then he saw his only one, one footprints, not another footprints. Not Guru's footprints. Then his mind very disturbed. Oh, when I was rich, then Gurudev with me. 
or when I have not, now I am very poor, poor Gurudev is not with me. Eh? Then he is crying and sitting. Eh? Understand? Anyhow, again he also eh, start his business, money coming. Then again all his friends return back. Eh? This is true. No? If you have the, everybody return back. Before all they left. left. Now return back. Eh? Then he was again he was walking on the beach, morning walk. Yeah. On the beach, so also again, what is it? Two footprints, and side by side. That time his mind very disturbed. When I was rich, the Gurudev with me. When I was poor, Gurudev not with me. And again, I am rich, Gurudev with me. Yeah. Understand? He has some doubts coming. Yeah. Doubt coming or not? Yeah. Sandhya Atma Vinasati. If you have doubts, means you lose bhakti. Eh? But Guru is very merciful. So, he is chanting holy names and remembering these things. So, when I was poor, eh, when I was rich, Gurudev with me. When I was poor, Gurudev not with me. Now I am rich, eh? Gurudev with me. He is chanting holy names and just thinking this. Then Gurudev again had come in his dream. Gurudev, hey, my disciple, why you are thinking about me? Eh? Why you have doubt with me? I am always with you. You are rich or you are poor, this is not a subject. I am always with you. That time then he talked with his Gurudev. In the dream, he is talking. Hey, Gurudev, this, this thing, when I was poor, you are rich, you with me. When you are poor, you are not with me. Now I am rich with me. Then Gurudev told, no, this is not true. I am always with you. Then Gurudev gave, the disciple asked, so, <coughs> when I was poor and walking on the beach, I did not see your footprints. Eh? The Gurudev told, hey, my disciple, listen. Eh? Actually, that footprint is not yours. That is my footprint. Eh? So he said, where is my footprint? Where is that you are not footprint? So where, where was my, my kanta? Where was I? Where was I? You are on my lap. Gurudev told, when you were poor, that time you were on my lap. Well, what is that? I can understand. What is the meaning? Then Gurudev explained. Huh? You understand? Gurudev explained explain one very nicely. Today. When baby walk with his mother, Eh? Baby and mother footprint. Both we can they see the footprints. Side by side. When baby can after a few minutes the baby saying, Mom, I cannot walk. Then baby, where is the baby now? In the lap with his mother. In the same way. And you are eh? that time you are on my lap. What we now and we are lal ki. That means in this story, the purport about this story. Guru and Krishna always with you. Just to realize yourself. You are thinking, I am alone. You are not alone. Guru and Krishna always with you. Realize, just to realize, self-realize, realize yourself. Self-realization is the best realization. Atma unupati karo. Bhajan means is what? What is the meaning of the bhajan? Bhajan not means just chanting holy names and what is called? 64 rounds chant holy names, but finish. Eh? Then take prasad. <laughs> no. Chant holy names, 64 rounds chant holy names, and try to realize yourself. Anubhuti karo. Eh? Chant holy names. Shastra, learn Shastra. Eh? Then self-realization will come. That is called Atma Anubhuti will come. Eh? You realize yourself, you can realize. And very difficult to all realization, you cannot express in your tongue. Everything you cannot express, just your words. words. Self realization will come. But when self realization comes, 
when you when you completely absolutely surrender lotus feet of guru and krishna then realization comes this way eh that is called atma anubhuti eh so for this regard always the all our shastra and acharyas and giving the emphasis on what guru nishta guru bhakti eh that is the backbone of our sadhana and bhajan eh Gurudev Nanak Goswami Maharaj, most of his class, again and again, again and again, he repeated this verse. Guru Nishtha, Guru Bhakti. Eh? That is the backbone of our sadhana and bhajan. How much you do sadhana and bhajan? That is what is dependent on this. Eh? When Guru with you, then you can, maybe you cannot understand. Eh? When we separate. Eh? then we realize eh? understand just to remember one word bhakti uh, bhakti vigan bharti goshai maharaj one lecture he is saying and eh? well when my gurudev in this material world and eh? bhakti dwait madhav goshai maharaj na no? understand he is saying and eh? that time all you are very busy and eh? to service to guru this 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 and eh? that time very easy to and eh? Huh? Five, years. five days look like fifty years. years. At that time, fifty years look like five days. Five days. Five days. Hey. You understand or not? Maybe understand, maybe not. This is true. Also. When staying with Guru and Krish, Guru and Vaishnava, that you cannot understand. Hey. But when Guru and Vaishnava departed, hey, then very difficult to. and spend their life difficult to the first time. time not so easy eh you understand if you completely surrender to guru then this realization will come eh for this regard gopis are saying this way khanardhe kalpatta or kalpatte khanardha first understand this way eh Gopis they meet with Krishna million million millions days of Brahma. Eh? Shrimad Bhagavad explains this. Eh? But that day, that time they are thinking this couple second. Eh? Gopis they perform rash dance with the with Krishna. How many days? Ta Brahma Ratra million millions days of nights of Brahma. Eh? Ta Brahma Ratra. Yeah, this is the plural numbers. ता ब्रह्म रत्र है बट दैट दिस इज थिंकिंग देयर वेरी एंड ओनली शॉर्ट टाइम दे आर थिंकिंग आर व्हेन दे सेपरेट फ्रॉम कृष्ण वंस व्हाट इज कॉल्ड वन सेकंड वन मोमेंट दे आर थिंकिंग दिस इज व्हाट मिलियन मिलियंस डेज ऑफ ब्रह्म है जुगायत निवेशनम शुक्षा पब्रिशायतम सुनना है तो जगत सर्वं गोविंद विरोही इनों में जुगाई तो निवेशन चुकुसा पाप विशाद सुनना है तो जगत सर्वं गोविंद विरोही इनों वहीं न कामिंद स्टेज ऑफ विरोह स्टेज मीटिंग स्टेज यू मेन नॉट रियलाइज बट रियलाइज इस कामिंग यू कैन नॉट एंड एंड अनदर थिंग बट व्हीन सेपरेट Separation, then we realize. Eh? Understand this? Eh? Eh? We are thinking this. When we are staying with Guru Dev, eh? many eh, what is it called? And festivals is going on, and we meeting with Guru Dev, traveling with Guru Dev, this place, this place, Holland, Germany, France, eh? What? Eh? Spain, eh? Understand? Spain where? Where the festival? <laughs> Not much of a festival in Spain. Ah, yes. where? Alicante. Alicante. Oh, yeah. Where they also came? Alicante came. Ah. Italy he came, no? Italy couple times, few times. Holland, eh? Yeah. Holland, Germany, France, 
फ्रांस इटली इंग्लैंड जस्ट इज यूरोपियन कंट्रीज ट्राफिंग उद ट्राफिंग एवरी इयर ट्राफिंग यार 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 एट दैट टाइम वर्ष देखिए एंड फाइव डेज और फाइव डेज प्रोग्राम लुकिंग लाइक वन सेकेंड वेरी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग सो सो रियलाइजेशन विल कम दिस एंड नाउ हियर फाइव डेज लुक लाइक फिफ्टी डेज फिफ्टी इयर्स ए डिफिकल्ट टू स्पेंड बिफोर वो इन वेस्टिंग विद गुरुदेव ट्रेवलिंग वेरी क्विकली टाइम इज गोइंग आर नाउ इज टाइम इज नॉट आई थिंक इंग नॉट सान गोज डाउन वो इन उल सान में रहे वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू दिस सो जस्ट आई ऑल्सो एक्सप्लेन दिस वो वेन उल भजन इन साधन मेक रिलेशनशिप विद गुरु एंड कृष्ण संबंध ज्ञान विल कम दैट टाइम सेपरेशन मोट विरह सो फॉर दिस लॉर्ड चैतन्य महापुरुष दिस वर्ष जुगायत निवेशनम चक्षुषापृषायतम सुन्नायत जगत सर्व गोविंद विरह फर्स्ट वी फील सेपरेशन फ्रॉम गुरु देन विल फील सेपरेशन फ्रॉम कृष्ण एंड चैतन्य महाप्रु राधा श्रीमती राधिक बट हु फील सेपरेशन फ्रॉम गुरु एंड कृष्ण वेन अवर संबंध ज्ञान विल कम द नॉलेज ऑफ रिलेशनशिप संबंध ज्ञान दिस इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ एन ऑल द गोपीज दे फील प्लैंक ऑफ सेपरेशन फ्रॉम कृष्ण वेन कृष्ण लेफ्ट वृंदावन टू मथुरा एंड मथुरा टू कुरुक्षेत्र एंड एंड कुरुक्षेत्र टू एगेन दारकापुरी वृंदावन टू मथुरा मथुरा टू दारका दारका टू कुरुक्षेत्र कुरुक्षेत्र टू दारकापुरी अकॉर्डिंग टू दीमद भागवत तो गोपीज दे फेल्ड फ्रैंक ऑफ सेपरेशन बीरह दी समंद फर्स्ट नीड इज समंद ज्ञान Knowledge of relationship, samandha gyan with other without samandha with samandha gyan, you cannot feel anything. Eh? This is the process of the bhajan and sadhan. This. Eh? So, <coughs> so guru kripa guru smarsh. So always you are you think, guru dev. Always with me, eh? Guru, Guru, they all, Guru, they always with me. But how to realize? Do bhajan and sadhan. They realize them. Eh? Otherwise, if you are not realizing, what is going, 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 going? Eh? So saying this, eh? Or the virale bhushya, akila virale bhushya, then or the song this, na. Uh, I will cry alone eh, in the one lonely place. This song is in the Bhakti Mata Kur song, na or not Tom Das Tha Kur song? Eh? No, no, no. This song, the Guru Dev. Uh, Guru Dev, Kavi Tova Karuna Pur Prakashi Ve. This song also, I think. Eh? Eh, this song is the this and this. गुरुदेव बड़ कृपा करी गौरव न माझे गोद्रुमे दिया च स्थान गुरुदेव बड़ कृपा करी गौरव न माझे गोद्रुमे दिया च स्थान अरे आज्ञा दिला मोरे ए ब्रज बसी हरि नाम कर गु कवे प्रभु 
जुगता और पीवे दासेरी दया को रहावे सकल सोहब एकांत सोहब यार दिस एकांत भजब हरी एम दिस प्लेस एंड रिमेम्बर टू यू सेपरेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दिस वेर लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु है स्वयं टू आस हाउ विल फील सेपरेशन फ्रॉम गुरु एंड कृष्ण विरह सो विरह इज हायर देन सेपरेशन विरह इज हायर देन मीटिंग विरह मीन सेपरेशन इज हायर देन मीटिंग उदाउट विरह योर मीटिंग विल बी नेवर नरिशमेंट न बिना विप्रलम्बे न संभव पुष्टि मसमत उदाउट विरह हाउ पसिबुल सेपरेशन हाउ पसिबुल फील हाउ पसिबुल उ So first thing is biraha separation. Uh, Gaur Premanandi, Arat, Hey Guru Kaapur. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari
की जय की बा जय जय गोरा